Monday morning, Morgan is having a go at the 1690 today. He's been tired enough, so ready to get that gearbox back in. I'm off up to Brookhouse. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with this in a minute. Um, I've got to move some straw for the horses and have a look where they've been walking to the field because it's a bit muddy. We might have to put a bit of stone down, don't know. Um, we've been measuring windows as well for the, for the new shed. So hopefully they're on the way. I think it's gonna take them about a week to make. I've left the bale spike up there, so hopefully I just need an empty Merlot, which is nearly empty on fuel, but it should be enough. I'll show you what this is for. That's off the birthday cake, the four year birthday cake. But now I said I was gonna put a big tractor on there. <laughs> well, I think Amanda's put a sheep on. So I think we'll put that there, or should we put it there so it looks like it's on the field? Maybe we'll cover the horse up a bit more, eh? Really need to sort the cladding out on this shed. I'll take this bale of straw over to the to the nags. Look how wet it is. It's ridiculous. We're anyway, out in the field, but this track's just a bit boggy, so I have to put something on it to make it a bit harder for them walking up and down. I'm gonna go and have a quick look at a field at Hale that's a bit sandy just to see whether we might later on today get on with some beans on the, with the quaddy. I'm at this field now, it's got a cover crop of mustard on that's just flourishing because it's not been killed by a frost and a grass weed. But you know what? I think we can go on this today because it's sandy. I think we can travel. So I think we'll get the sprayer, spray it off. And if it's not raining this afternoon, we'll come up with a quad track and we'll drill it with beans. Can you see the puddle it's starting to rain? That's just because we're about to put this new fitting on the quad track to go drilling. And now it's starting to rain. So annoying. It's supposed to be wet for the next three days. Then now we might get three or four dry days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But we're going to get, I think, 14 mil of rain on Wednesday. So it'll take a bit of drying. Rob's putting that muffler thing on. And then there's a knife fell down there. From when Morgan had his roast dinner the other week. Hopefully, it's magnetic. And we can get it out. Ta da! It's spitting. There's a bit of a cloud coming over that you can now see there. But needs must, so John's gonna go now and try and glyphosate it. Morgan's put the exhaust back on with Rob. Simon's here for chip. But yeah, we're just gonna get going. And the Amazon man's here. We're gonna volume wash it, but the dragging an empty fertilizer bag with him there now. But the exhaust was in bits and we're waiting for a gasket. So, we'll do it tomorrow, I think. Hopefully, we'll get another 25 acres of beans in. Looks small over there, doesn't it? So you zoom in. I was moving the hay before, but John loaded a load of wheat with this. <laughs> the bucket is massive. Anyway, I'm going to take some seed down to the field with it, I think. It's on wide tyres, you see. Drop the big bucket off. I'm going to put the smaller one on. A little bit more nimble down the road, I think. Uh, it's kind of smooth enough. Um, it's not as quick as the Merlot's. It kind of squeals a bit as well. The wipers are good. I like the wipers. I mean, it'll stop raining now, but you've got like a little one down there and then a the big one that goes right up to the roof. They work really well. And then the windows were steaming up, so I just cracked them down a little bit with the switch there. The only thing is it's backwards, so that goes up and that goes down. That looks the wrong way to me. Anyway, Joe wanted to borrow the lid off one of our uh, cedars because he's putting his cedar on the back of his sumo. So I'm just gonna drop it off for him now. 
Joe's mounting this on the top of the sumo for putting, um, is it Nemeth Thorin down? So we've got to put a new, got to put this on here. So we're going to get him a new one. So he's going to silicon that on and order a new one off cramp. So in case that's not quite uh, tight enough, in case that lid blows off. And then at least if it doesn't work, he can fill up with that, wait for the dust to settle and then swap the lids to the to a lid that's standard because it's like a closed application system that you put it on with. So he's just been making a bracket today. The rain's just about holding off, so John's on his way back to the yard now with the sprayer. I'm trying to charge my phone up, but it's got a USB down there, but it also not put many amps out because for some reason my phone won't charge. Very quick at all. But that'll be strong enough. Should be. It had a three and a half ton of grain in it this morning, plus the weight of the bucket. So I'm sure that big shackle is going to be fine. I thought it might have still reached, but um, eight meters is a meter off. I have to come from the back. Can just about swing it in from the back so that you don't have to stand underneath the bag. Can he turn around in that corner there? Without mooching on the hedge, I can't go too much far forwards because the bucket's in the way. Yeah, he's got around. Just a little bit of hedge pruning, maybe. Maybe a little bit further forwards. I've got it lined up for the next bag. Come in, that wants to go forward. Take a bit of getting used to this. Yep, he's round. The annoying thing is, we, we did roll the cover crop on this, and then I thought it was going the spuds for somebody else, and um, then found out it wasn't. So, this could have been a nice field of winter wheat because it would have got on this in October, but instead, putting beans in in April is slightly annoying. Could have realised. It is awesome that drill on that tractor for wet weather though. Just got to his mark, I think now he's going to turn in. Put the gear. Good camera in it really. When you look at the zoom on it. Don't you think? Just found this grub. Is it a caterpillar? Or some sort of grub. It was down there. Anyway, not got a lot left to do now. Just got a few passes up and down, and then obviously headlands to do. So just hitching the next bag up, ready to go in. Another 25 acres of beans in then. Another thing actually that's really good about it, you've got the auto loop, but also the engine automatically stops itself, which is quite handy. Anyway, I'm just going to see how more it's getting around this bend here drill on the back, we'll get a little video of it working. Got that little ride on to see, all the red machines out today. Slice it in nicely. Don't want to go around too tight a bend. This is where I've parked the monitor in the way now. Yeah. <laughs> it's his fault for going too tight, I think. I'll have to move it. This is swings into it. Is 
to the size of that shackle. It's massive, isn't it? Charlotte's dad gave me it's well, Andy. Now, loss of communication with the main ECU. Why is that? Doesn't what happened then? Start it back up again. what's going on but it's moving now so we can get around the bend put that back to the middle jump back out and then it's telling me to keep going forwards but got loads of room I'm going to try and spray it and combine it. There it goes. Got to do another few laps now. It's just like riding on a magic carpet, that with its tracks on. I hope it's not too windy. Not the blastest of seedbed for beans, but maybe if it comes dead dry, we could roll it, but I doubt it. Off he goes again. change gear actually it's not like fully hydrostatic I don't think quite smooth though because this track's rough just draining the water out of this so we were going to use either this or the mixer wagon to mix the dough for the world's biggest loaf of bread but of course this has got too many times so they'll end up getting a bit tangled up and then the mixer wagon I bought for making concrete It'd be great for mixing the dough, but how do we get it out again? Because it'll all stick to everything, won't it? It'll turn into a big lump and won't come out the auger or the side. So what we need is, remember that MX bucket I saw, that mixer bucket I saw when we went to Cheshire Farm Machinery's open day? I think we need something a little bit like that. So does anyone know of any any manufacturers that make a mixer bucket? Because then at least we can tip it um, that we could use for mixing the dough because we're going to do some trials in the next sort of fortnight, really, of trying to and then make the dough and then scale it up then to get to the right tonnage to break the world record so yeah if anyone's watching from either mx or someone that makes them kind of mixer buckets that aren't going to get stuff tangled around them let us know birthday bumper is tipped over sixty-four thousand. um tipped over that sounds like something that crazy sammy would say from ireland tipping tipping along tipping along for Anyway, Linda Wright, Stephen's wife Linda's on there, Dick Jones is on there, Henry Davis is 8, Andrew Williams is 30, Mark Skinner's 36, Louis Conran, I think it's Conran, is 14, Clark Carruthers, I think it's pronounced, is on there, Mick Parry, Mike Parry, Big Mick, Mike P, whichever you want to call him, 42, Seb Donaldson is on there, and Charlotte Charlton is also on there. Happy birthday, everyone on today's birthday bumper, and anyone else whose birthday it is today. Is that the sound of the quad track arriving back? Another 25 acres done. It's actually drier now than it was when he went. some rev Morgan we're gonna back it in we'll get that we'll get the volume wash on them tracks tomorrow It like wriggles round a little bit on the when you 
going slow, but when you're going fast with it, it follows really well. Just guiding him back anyway, so we don't hit the combine. Keep the offer dry. Close up there. Put the Merlot in the gap. And that Merlot stretched across. Everyone says, why'd you do that? It just stops people driving in the yard. We can't afford electric gates, so we use a 90 grand Merlot. Not bad, coming home in daylight. Let's see if there's not another field dry enough. That is about it for today. Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, click like, um, and I'll see you all tomorrow. That's much better. It's a big sheep, that though, isn't it?